Oh my god, kleine Frosch, kleine Frosch. Oh my god, look on the ants. Don't look down. It's to see a slot because we still didn't, didn't sew any slots yeah. here in Costa Rica. So I'm really disappointed with yeah. this beach. Hello guys. Hi. Welcome to our Costa Rica series. In this video we are visiting all the important places around Manuel Antonio National Park. We are staying in a city called Cuepos. It is the perfect city to get around, to go everywhere you need to catch the next bus or taxi. Mm -hmm. So this is the perfect place to stay. And today we are in Rainmaker. Rainmaker, it's like a park, like a trail with the hanging bridges, with the waterfall and some uh, lakes, I would say, mm -hmm. or they call them pools. Um, it is about two kilometers long, he said, uh, and it's going to take us about one and a half, two hours, depends how many pictures we are taking. So probably longer? <laughs> uh, probably longer, yeah, that's right. And uh, it is early in the morning and we saw only one group of people, so I don't think it's so popular in here, but uh, of course we're going to find out. And to get here we had to take a taxi which was $35, mm -hmm. so it was quite expensive. Mm -hmm. And the ticket to get to the park or to get to the trial cost uh, how much? $23? Something like this, person. yeah. yeah. So it's going to be quite expensive trip, but hopefully it's worth it. What we needed to sign when we arrived here is like a document where we said if something happens, if we got bitten by a snake, they don't have to pay anything for that. So it's our own failure. So hopefully it will not happen. <laughs> we will just stay on the path and uh, everything's gonna be all right. We just started and we see already some signs here so we can go on the left or on the right side so it looks like it's really good sign posted. And because we took a picture at the beginning, what you also should, we will go up here on the left side. How do you feel after five minutes hike? <laughs> I feel like <laughs> looks nice, but we had to take some steps up. I'm already out of my breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, climb it cross, climb it cross. We are arriving for very first hanging bridge here it's quite cute quite small and below you have a river also a small river but it's the first one let's do this so if you see this video we definitely survive <laughs> what <laughs> it's shaking i hope this video isn't going viral so <laughs> Everything went really smooth. Yeah, just the first moment is shocking, but then it's fine. So we've got few bridges in here. Here's number one, second, third, and I think the fourth one, the one behind me, it's the most scary one. But we're gonna manage. We're gonna do it. Because they are really high, I think it's like 15 meters above the ground. Even the woman here, she was walking but didn't uh, take a look down, <laughs> down because, because she was scared yeah. and I can really imagine. But now it's our turn. Oh my god, look on the ants above your head. You don't want to mess with those ants. You can do that. Don't look down. I am not scared of height. But you will be. <laughs> the next bridge no guys we made it and we survived it i'm too sexy for my shirt it was a little bit scary i'm sweating <laughs> i am more scared of 
snakes than the hanging bridges. I'm just not scared of them. I don't know why. I just trust the constructor who did this bridge. <laughs> but it doesn't look really trustable, to no, be honest. <laughs> but still, we, everyone is walking on them. So why should it break it under me? Yeah, someone has to be the first one. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we, we had like uh, Indiana Jones moment, but it was not so scary. It was a little bit scary, but even when we were in the middle, we looked down and it was, I don't know, maybe 20 meters high. So we were already on higher bridges, but uh, it's still a nice experience. And I definitely know a few people who never, never would cross these bridges. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared of height, that's why. Maybe. She's scared like of every ant <laughs> and every little gecko, but she's not scared if she walks on an unstable chain bridge like 20 <laughs> meters high can you explain this guys <laughs> here we are coming to this river and as you can see already a few people are below there so there's a group of people here with the guide and they gave us some ananas pineapple <laughs> so we are happy about it finish our adventure for today and it was definitely worth 23 dollars it was amazing i i missed the hiking it was so fun at the beginning of it course so hot. yeah it was hot and at the beginning i was a little bit scared of the snakes i didn't want to meet any snake on the trail but uh, we met a frog some geckons we also saw uh, some big ants and some fishes in the waterfall and some beautiful butterflies oh yeah that's right we also so beautiful like this big butterfly mm -hmm. really beautiful blue one and yeah it was definitely fun mm -hmm. uh, we definitely recommend this uh, trial it uh, once again it's rainmaker mm -hmm. and i like the name <laughs> yeah i like it too and it wasn't so hard but of course we recommended to wear a good shoes mm -hmm and to maybe wear some insect repellent because i've got maybe two or three bites so yeah still it was fun we really really like it and now we are waiting for our taxi so he's coming from cuepos he needs about 30 minutes then he will be here and uh, as we said in the intro he said 35 dollars but when you pay in uh, colones which yeah. is the local currency then you need only to pay 20,000 uh, colones in our case and this is only like $30.50 so it's cheaper if you pay yeah. in local currency in general wherever you travel pay with uh, the local currency with credit card and also in cash always local currency you will almost all the time get the better price hello guys hi welcome to another day here in Cuepos, where we are located. Today on our list is the famous Manuel Antonio National Park. So probably the main reason why we are here. We are super excited. We are waiting for our tour guide. They will pick us up and then they will show us around and we really hope that we will see as much as possible animals from every kind. But our main reason why we are going there is to see a slot because we still didn't, didn't so any slots yeah. here in Costa Rica so this is the main reason <laughs> hopefully we will see it today yeah how close can I get? no not so close maybe <laughs> <laughs> So far the tour is going pretty good. We already saw a slot. Uh, we saw snake, butterfly, monkeys and bats. bats. So it is pretty interesting. And also the tour guide, it's explaining a lot of things. So we definitely recommend to get a guide if you're gonna be here. After almost two hours walking around and got everything really well explained, 
we were really hungry so we had uh, probably the most delicious banana cake <laughs> it was and the biggest one it was really huge so you got that definitely something for your money and now we are walking down to the beach so we can already hear the waves smell the sea and are super excited to get there We visited those beaches, so there are like two of them. One is like the main beach where you also see a lot of people. And there is like right on the next side, you have an other beach, a little bit smaller, but also like no people at all. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, they are both pretty nice, really beautiful, but I think you can only access them if you go through the national park. So it it's not so easy to get to the beaches if you don't pay the entrance but there will be definitely more beaches here around and we will gonna visit them here the monkey there is a slot hiding in the trees our tour in the Manuel Antonio National Park is finished so at the end our guide asked us if we will come with her to get back to our hotel or if you want to stay at the beach and we decided to stay in the beach yeah. and it is definitely beautiful so you have like two beaches here as already mentioned and go to the second one because it's less crowded and it's really beautiful you can spend a few hours here enjoy all the beauty and have a wonderful time and Manuel Antonio National Park was really great so we saw like a Slots. big amount of animals <laughs> Snake! We saw a snake! We a saw a tiny one, yeah. Slots. We saw um, some birds also. Frogs. Yeah. Frog, and yeah, actually, and yeah. monkeys. Also, the monkeys, the white ones, the black with white face. White face monkeys. White face monkeys, they were stealing food from the people, so be careful. I yeah, mean, watch you're, out. you're not even allowed to take food with you, but here is a restaurant, so when you eat there at the table, they will come and grab the food so <laughs> you have be careful, to be careful yeah. yeah but we really enjoyed the park and we definitely recommend it to do it with a guide because you will not be able to see all the animals yeah. without this special thing telescope yeah. telescope or however you call it mm -hmm. uh, you will not be able to uh, you are not able to see it without it mm -hmm. so definitely book a tour and also our guide I uh, had so many information about all the animals. It was really, really interesting to hear about them. Mm -hmm. So definitely worth the money. Yeah, and we will also link the tour in the description. So if you want to do the same tour, or also with some other companies, but our company was great from the pickup, the explanation about everything. They showed us so many beautiful things and we yeah. really highly recommend it. Hello guys and welcome to our last day here in Manuel Antonio or in Cuepos where we are located and unfortunately also the last let's say full vacation day here in Costa Rica because tomorrow we are heading back to the capital city San Jose and from there we're gonna take an airplane to our next destination which you will see on this channel where we are heading to and to get here to this Espadilla beach or Playa Espadilla, we took a bus from Cuepos. It cost us about 50 cents per person, so it's really, really affordable. You need to drive like 15 minutes and then you're already here. It is a huge beach and you can enjoy yourself, take a swim, uh, get some sun and have a beautiful day. And that's exactly what we are going to do today. my good mood from 
just went down from 10 points to zero <laughs> <laughs> because we were laying on the beach chilling and talking how beautiful our life is how we are enjoying the beach life yeah. when the big wave came make everything wet and took my pants with it so they I'm gone I'm without pants at the moment I'm wearing Igor's uh, t-shirt luckily, luckily my tucked uh, tank top is long enough and it looks like a dress like a dress so <laughs> I've got a, I don't have my shorts but I've got dress now everything is completely wet our phones uh, my Kindle fortunately I had it in my hand so the wave didn't took it with my pants mm. and fortunately somehow the phones uh, were on the Igor's uh, towel so yeah. they survived I was like one meter behind Sarah so yeah and uh, also the phones are waterproof so we could save them but really when I saw the wave coming and we were not that close to the water about we were like five or even more meters yeah. from, from the shore and really when you when I realized that this wave is coming really close in the last second I grabbed my backpack which is full with uh, equipment. equipment like camera drone and everything really in the last second I could pick it up and then the and water was <laughs> already around but uh, luckily nothing is wet from the tech stuff so we are really happy but yeah her pants are gone I'm really disappointed with yeah. this beach and I'm really upset about my pants because I, they were broken the zipper were broken I fixed it in Mexico <laughs> you really like these pants yeah I really like them and we still got few pictures with them so you'll see them yeah. <laughs> and the beach in general is really nice but the waves are really strong and you can see a lot of people here with uh, surfboards or bodyboards so if you do this kind of stuff it's perfect but it's not really uh, good enough for, for <laughs> swimming or even laying down on the beach. It can be dangerous for your yeah. stuff if you don't want it to get wet. So this was Igor's tank top and now it is my dress. Luckily, he got two t-shirts. He took one, uh, he came with this and he took one to change for pictures. He didn't change it, but he had it. So this is how I'm going to walk home now on the bus. <laughs> this is it guys, we are not anymore in Cuevos and Manuel Antonio, we are already here in San Jose, really close to the airport because it's time for our next destination which you will find out in one of the next videos. Costa Rica it's really beautiful, starting with the beaches, wildlife, animals, all the forest, palm trees. It was really, really amazing rainforest, don't forget about it. Yes. It was really beautiful and amazing. We traveled all the time with the bus, so it was sometimes really challenging, mm -hmm. but it's doable because mm. we did it. We really love this country. It is beautiful and we hope you did like it as well. You did like travel with us. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. See you in one of our next videos. Goodbye. Bye.